If you have been using some skincare ingredients, some products that have just been doing wonders for your skin, and you're wondering if you can continue to use them now that you're pregnant or you're trying to get pregnant, this video is for you. Let's get right into it. Now, let's talk about the controversial ones. Controversial meaning that there hasn't been enough studies to actually tell us that it is outrightly bad. But theoretically, we've been able to draw some conclusions and say, oh, at some certain percentages, or oh, if this is wrongly used, or used over a large body surface area, like using it all over your body, for instance, instead of just your face, then we can say, oh, it's not safe. An example would be salicylic acid. Salicylic acid, yes, is, is an exfoliant that is used in the treatment of acne. Now, the thing about salicylic acid really is that we do not recommend percentages higher than 2%. So meaning that even if you were to be given salicylic acid to use by your doctor, usually we would not even ask you to use anything higher than 2%. And most of the time, we would ask you to use it in a wash form. Something like the Zapseed Cleanser, it has 2% salicylic acid. Then you have CeraVe SA Cleanser, it has salicylic acid in it. However, the um, percentage of salicylic acid is not declared. So we are apt to look at it as a salicylic acid formulation that is less than 2%. We don't want you to use salicylic acid all over your body. So you're not going to use a salicylic acid body wash or a, salicylic, a body cream that contains salicylic acid because that is a larger surface area for your body to be able to absorb the salicylic acid and we don't want that. The next controversial ingredient is bakuchiol. Bakuchiol is touted to be a plant-derived similar ingredient to um the retinoids retinol now the thing that is there is that yes bakuchol is a new ingredient more recent compared to the data and the research that we have on the retinoids and so because it is new like that most people are being cautious a lot of bakuchol serums actually have retinol added to it to potentiate the effect we don't have enough data to tell us whether bakuchol is safe in pregnancy or not not everybody will recommend bakuchol we talk about tranexamic acid. Tranexamic acid is an ingredient that is helpful in brightening the skin. Also the same thing with um, uh, Bakuchil, for instance. Tranexamic acid also doesn't have wealth of data or studies behind it to make it safe for us to easily recommend. We understand that women in pregnancy sometimes will undergo issues with hyperpigmentation. And because of that, you want something to treat your, um, your melasma, the darkening of your skin. But Tranexamic acid is not one of those things we outrightly and comfortably recommend. So that's why it's in the controversial list. We go on to benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide is a topical antibacterial, it has antibacterial properties. It also has like skin exfoliating properties as well. Very gentle, of course, not as much as your exfoliant as well. So usually we use benzoyl peroxide to take care of your acne, your pimples on your skin. And so, you know, benzoyl peroxide is in something like the Replenix um, cleanser, acne cleanser. It's also in the CeraVe acne foaming wash as well. It's in Oxyten. Your doctor may say, okay, go ahead and use benzoyl peroxide. Some will say you shouldn't use it. Really, it all depends on your own skin condition and what your doctor feels is safe for you to use. Generally, benzoyl peroxide is converted in the skin to benzoic acid, which is even a food supplement. So the thing is, if you look at it that way, it should be safe to use. And so benzoyl peroxide usually will recommend if you can use it at less than 5%, less than 4%. Like the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cleanser has benzoyl peroxide at 4%, which makes it safe to use. Then we go on to the almighty sunscreens. <laughs> sunscreens are always controversial. They are in the news. We're always talking about discovering one thing, one thing or the other. And in the recent time, sunscreens have, or formulations have undergone a lot of changes. You know, we used to have a lot of sunscreens that are white, white cast, very pasty, just didn't make too much sense. But thank God for a lot of sunscreen formulations that are coming from, you know, Asian countries, from Korea, you know, and Japan. And they really, really, been helpful and even some that are coming out of the US are also still good in terms of the finish. A recent study in the past couple of years showed that some chemical sunscreen filters are found in the bloodstream. There has been no demonstrable effect to show that these filters have had any effect on the body. However, because of this knowledge, some physicians will say 
we're not recommending chemical sunscreens that in pregnancy we would rather you do mineral sunscreens but then we're faced with the issue that for us skin of color there aren't too many mineral sunscreens out there that actually blend with our skin tone especially if you are my skin tone and even darker it makes it even more difficult because yes you have some tinted sunscreens that people that are very fair can even still get away with but for people that are my color and darker you probably won't get you know a mineral sunscreen that would blend well with your skin not have white cast not leave you looking ashy of some sort however the only one that i've found that seems to make sense is pipette's um, mineral sunscreen um that sunscreen i have used personally do you understand of course it does have this purplish kind of glow to it do you understand and so at the end of the day there is that obvious you are wearing sunscreen look but it's not as bad as a lot of all the other ones i've tried in terms of mineral sunscreens i've even <laughs> i've even like just put mineral sunscreens aside because of that so if you're someone that is concerned about chemical versus mineral sunscreen you can give the pipette mineral sunscreen a try but chemical sunscreens like i said the filters even though yes it's been found in blood like a lot of things can be found that we've absorbed we've rubbed on our skins can be found in the blood we have not seen any demonstrable side effects even on the adult human do you understand so that is why some people are still comfortable recommending chemical sunscreens okay you, you guys know what what's more important is sun avoidance that is not time to walk around all the markets searching for you know the latest baby shoe and baby shawl and all that responsible sun exposure avoidance so don't go out in the bright sunlight um sunlight hours of about that between that 10 and 2 o'clock you want to stay indoors at those times when the sun is at its brightest you want to wear some protective clothing you want to wear long sleeves yes cotton so that it's breathable as well but you also want to wear a wide brimmed hat if you can yes and of course wear sunshades at least that one you can still be fine and all that i know people will be like ah wear wide brimmed hat why <laughs> i don't want to be looking funny but please just you know have some protection because of that melasma i want you to leave me a comment below and let me know if there are any mineral sunscreens that you've tried that have worked well with your skin i want you to mention the mineral sunscreen and hopefully maybe i'll get around to trying them and see because yes we are in need of mineral sunscreens that actually work with our skin tone and i'm looking forward to it you know yes just yesterday somebody mentioned that at least black girl sunscreen they should try and work on a mineral um, sunscreen for skin of color because their whole brand is geared towards skin of color black skin yes even though people of different skin tones can use you know the, the products they have manufactured right now but other people that make mineral sunscreen especially tinted ones really the hues or the shades that they are made none of them actually really blend with us so if black girl sunscreen you're listening Please make mineral sunscreens that you know have our shade in mind and we will appreciate it we'll patronize you <laughs> thank you